Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. In today's video, we will be talking about OpenAI's new language generator, GPT-3, and how it can be applied to the testing space as well as the BA role and give a demo of some of its capabilities. First, let's go over a quick summary of what GPT-3 is. GPT-3 comes from a company called OpenAI. OpenAI was founded back in 2015 by Elon Musk and Sam Altman. Combined, they invested over a billion dollars in OpenAI to advance the state of artificial intelligence. So what is OpenAI's GPT-3? Well, first off, it's a huge leap forward in artificial intelligence. Some of the things that it can do is it's able to generate text, create poetry, translation, answer questions, generate code, create complete mobile applications in milliseconds. It's absolutely amazing in terms of capabilities. So let's do a demo. In this demo, let's create a simple chatbot about video games. To do so, we need to give GPT-3 some context of the type of chatbot you want to create. Step two, we need to give GPT-3 some examples of questions and responses. And in step three, we need to simply ask GPT-3 some questions about the topic of video games. So how can GPT-3 be applied to testing? Some of the initial thoughts are around test generation. You could feed in analytics data to generate test scenarios, or you could generate frameworks based on prompt value. So say you are working on a specific application, you could give GPT-3 specifics about the application that you're testing, and then it would generate the framework for you. You could also use self-healing elements. So instead of an element being tied to a specific ID, you could use GPT-3 to generate the ID for the element and or find the correct property for the element. Additional uses outside of testing could be creating instant FAQ bots for projects. So let's say you're a tester and you have questions or you need to find a certain requirement for 
a specific feature. You can simply go to an FAQ powered by GPT-3 and ask the bot for the requirements. This would allow testers to be able to find the requirements for specific projects on the fly. In the following video, we gave a quick overview of what GPT-3 is, as well as a demo. We covered some of the practical uses that GPT-3 could be applied to for testing, as well as the BA role. In future videos, we'll be covering some tutorials on how to integrate GPT-3 into your testing frameworks, as well as some additional practical uses of GPT-3. If that sounds awesome to you, please like and subscribe to the video, and I hope to see you on the next one.